Welcome to this Level 3 HACCP course, an e-learning course for food manufacturers presented by Advanced Food Safety Limited. Let us have a look at the course programme and following this introduction to the course, we'll first start a short video presentation on what HACCP Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point is all about. So in there we'll look at the origins and the development of HACCP over the years. Then we'll look at a number of video presentations on why we use HACCP. The first one we'll look at incidents and the limitations of traditional quality control and random sampling. Next we'll have a look at the external pressures and then the legal requirements of HACCP and then a video presentation on customer requirements. The next video will have a look at how we do a HACCP study. Uh, the first in this series will look at prerequisite programs. Then we'll look at how and what we need to do a HACCP study in general. And then it'll be time for your first work activity. And this will be to construct a process flow diagram based on a scenario that you will download. Following that, we'll have a look at the process of hazard analysis. And firstly, there'll be a video presentation on microbiological, chemical and physical hazards and examples of them. Then we'll have a look at risk assessment and control measures for the hazards that we have identified. Then there'll be a video presentation on how to carry out hazard analysis itself. Next will be the second work activity, work activity B, hazard analysis. This will give you the opportunity to carry out your own hazard analysis study of the steps we've selected from the scenario. The next video presentation will be on how we identify critical control points and that will introduce you to the codex decision tree. You'll be able to use those skills then in work activity C which is CCP identification. The next video presentations will be on how we control critical control points and first we'll be looking at how we assign critical limits and target levels and then how we establish monitoring and corrective action procedures and assign responsibility to those who are responsible for monitoring the CCPs and carrying out corrective actions. That will lead on to work activity D and this will involve completing a full HACCP chart. Next will be a video presentation on verification and implementation of a HACCP system. So we're looking at how we verify a HACCP system and implement a system. Then we will have a video presentation on maintaining a HACCP system and the first we'll look at HACCP audits. Then we'll look at data analysis, how we keep up to date with new and emerging hazards and training to help us maintain HACCP. That will lead then to work activity E, which will be compiling a HACCP audit checklist. With the video presentations, you can stop and start them at any time, but you need to do them in the correct order. In fact, you will not be able to go on to the next video until you have completed the previous one. There will be a video presentation on exam tips. We have a mock examination online. This is exactly the same format of questions that you will find in the final examination, but remember your final examination is paper-based, which will be sent to your invigilator. Now the mock exam online is timed, 90 minutes, and you have 45 questions with four possible answers to each one. So that will help you with a bit of revision as well for your final examination. And following the results of that, you may wish to recap by going back to some of the previous videos. Following that, you just need to arrange your final 
examination. You can either do this by contacting the office. Our telephone number is 01257 254 999. Or you can email info at food-safety.co.uk or you can download the form and send that on to us by email and we will arrange for your final exam paper to be sent to your invigilator.